Coast to coast and north to south, we share the most beautiful places in Canada that we've ever been to. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are continuing our Canada series. And what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the most beautiful places in Canada. Now, how did we come up with these? Basically, we focused on their natural beauty. So any cities like Quebec City or Toronto themselves won't be included here. Not to say that they're not beautiful, but we're looking for natural beauty. We've been lucky enough to travel all over our home and native land, and we just love our beautiful country. And we want to share with you all of the most beautiful destinations that we've been to. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we put out new travel videos every week and click on that bell so you can get reminders when those videos become available. Now, when it comes to the most beautiful places in Canada, I think uh, the one place that comes to the top of most people's minds would be Banff, Alberta or Banff National Park. This is amazing. Uh, and for good reason. It is gorgeous all year round. It's, it's a year round destination. Uh, you can go skiing, it's beautiful in the summer. Uh, there's so many things to see there and partake of. It will literally take your breath away. One of the most iconic spots in Banff is Lake Louise, with the Victoria Glacier plunging into those glacier green turquoise waters, waters of Lake Louise. It's just spectacular. The great thing about Lake Louise is that you can hike all the way around the lake and out to the glacier. I highly recommend staying at Deer Lodge or the Fairmont so that you can truly enjoy it and not have to fight traffic and crowds and parking. Canada really is full of diverse landscapes. Even if you look at the contrast between the West Coast and the East Coast, with the West Coast being more mountainous and boreal forest, and the East Coast actually being more of a maritime feel. One of the best places to see this is go to Cape Breton in Nova Scotia. I just love driving this route and there's this trail called the Skyline Trail. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, the Skyline Trail there, which is a hiking trail that takes you out, takes you out to this incredible view where you can watch the sunset and man, it just overlooks that the Atlantic Ocean and it seems like the views just go forever. It's really the most beautiful place in Canada to see a sunset. Yeah, the Cabot Trail is what you want to drive there. That yeah. drive hits all of the hot spots all the way around there. They give you different views of the coast uh, where you can really take in the appreciation of plunging sea cliffs as well as beautiful coastal views. One of the most awesome places to visit in the world is the Bay of Fundy because it is home to the highest tides in the world. The Hopewell Rocks in New Brunswick is the most famous place to see the changing of the tides on the Bay of Fundy. And at one minute, the water engulfs it. The next minute, you can walk on the ocean floor for three hours on either side of the tides. It's so amazing to see. You would not believe how far these tides go out. And one of the best places to see it is in Nova Scotia at the Three Sisters. It's our pick for the most beautiful place in Canada to go kayaking. For sure, we did an overnight kayaking there and it's incredible how the landscapes change with the tides. You know, we went through uh, the pieces of rock and, and rock formations with our kayak and then like a few hours later we could go back and we could actually walk along that area. This is really just one of the most stunning coastlines you'll ever see in your life. And if you want to appreciate a little bit more, take a little bit more time while you're down there, make sure to take a drive down the Fundy Parkway. Uh, you can do some hiking along there. All these destinations have a lot of hiking and we recommend it. It's the best way to get out there and enjoy the beauty of Canada. Above the Arctic Circle is really where Canada is unique. I have to say that one of my favorite ways to explore this is to drive from the Northwest Territories down to through to the Yukon. Starting up in a place called Anuvik, we drove the Dempster Highway. It's just one of the most beautiful slices of heaven in Canada. Yeah, it starts out in a, a, like an Arctic tundra type setting and then eventually makes its way into this really mountainous uh, landscape in the Tombstone Mountains. So you get to see the changing of uh, the Canadian landscape from the north as it heads south. 
Canada is blessed with national park and one of the most remote national parks Dave and I have ever been to is Ivavik National Park. Yeah, actually more people make it to the summit of Everest than visit this national park oh, in a year. So could we brag that we've actually were better than people that climb Mount Everest? <laughs> but let's do it. Yeah, we will. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. <laughs> we can say that definitely because we've been there. Yeah, this is really a, the, the, one of the best places on earth to see grizzly bears in their natural habitat. It's actually like a grizzly bear alley that goes through there and you're surrounded by mountains and rivers and there's nothing for as far as the eye can see. Once again, like everything in Canada, go for a hike to a high lookout to really take in the views. Manitoba also has its share of beautiful places. And one of those is up in the North Arctic part near Churchill, Manitoba. Now this is definitely known as the place in the world to go and see polar bears and believe me it is but you also if you get a chance to get up there in the summertime gives you a really unique look at that that high arctic uh, landscape yeah it's hard to believe that there's blueberries and colorful flowers and a lot of green a lot of green there. wild strawberries they are so delicious mm, so flavorful That coastline along there is 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 incredible. It's, it's untouched and and basically not a lot of people go out up there. Yeah, and, and uh, the beaches are miles wide. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not just long; yeah. they're wide. I remember us having to walk along the beach to get a closer look at some polar bears, and we had to walk for a couple kilometers. Seemed like forever. <laughs> yeah, it's really a beautiful part of Canada. If you haven't noticed, Dave and I really love the more remote places. That's what makes it beautiful to us, and I think that's what makes Canada a very, really special place to visit. The west coast of Canada definitely has some of the most beautiful places in the world, but also in Canada. The best way to see it is taking a drive up the Sea to Sky Highway from Vancouver to Whistler. Now Whistler is really famous because of the Olympics, of course, and the drive up there is really famous because there are so many amazing stops along the way. There's lots of waterfalls along this drive, there's hiking trails, the coastal mountains plunge into Howe Sound, and oh gosh, we took a float plane ride over the whole area and that's one of the best ways to see it. We always say get up in the air to see the beauty of Canada. It gives you a great view of Big Chief and Squamish, which is actually a big climbing mecca, but also a, a beautiful place to walk around and do some hikes and do some climbing. The Okanagan Valley is another place that you will want to put on your list if you want to visit beautiful places here in Canada. Uh, not only is it a beautiful mountainous valley, it, it is also an incredible wine region. So if you mix the mountains with uh, beautiful vineyards, just imagine what that vista would look like. And it's just as beautiful as you'd think. And one of the best ways to explore the landscape up here in the Northwest Territories is to get on a plane. It's just such an original landscape. I have never seen anything like it. No, it's like all these weaving patterns. It's almost like an, an abstract painting. So get up in an airplane and check out this area of Canada from above because it really is truly unique. It's like thousands of, of small, lakes. tiny lakes yeah. as far as your eye can see. Another beautiful Alberta spot in Canada is Jasper National Park. There are so many mountain vistas to see and like a lot of the other places in Alberta, beautiful lakes to go and get reflections in the morning. Yeah, there's Pyramid Lake there, which is quite close to the town of Jasper. And don't forget Malign Canyon. I think that's one of the best canyon walks we've ever done on your way out to Malign Lake, which is another awesome view here in Canada. Our home province of Ontario is pretty dazzling as well, don't you think, Dave? I think so. You know, many people don't necessarily think of Ontario as being beautiful. Everyone just thinks beautiful. of Niagara Falls in Toronto. Yes, exactly. But I think Niagara Falls is one of the most beautiful places in Canada. It's sunrise here in Niagara, and we are standing at the top of the falls. And this is one of my favorite places to view Niagara Falls. It's absolutely incredible. You can really feel the power of the water behind you. We're right at the lip of it where it cascades over, but it's just terrifying seeing the power of this enormous body of water. 
Now, a lot of the beauty in Ontario exists the further north that you get. There's the Muskoka region, there's Algonquin Park, it's basically the land of lakes. There are so many lakes and forests there. It's a massive canoe destination. And there's nothing quite like that picturesque scene of a red canoe at sunrise with a moose in the background. You know, you'll find that in Algonquin Park. I think the most beautiful place in all of Ontario is north of Lake Superior and hardly anyone ever gets up there. But the landscape changes like crazy. It actually reminds me a lot of the East Coast when I'm on the North, uh, the north Shore of Lake Superior. Yeah, with the Canadian Shield up there, it really gives a, a completely different look to what the rest of Ontario is. Something Dave mentioned earlier is how Canada is a four season destination. And our favorite place in all of Canada to see the fall colors is Gatineau Park in Quebec. And I haven't seen reds and oranges and yellows like this anywhere in the world. Uh, we took a helicopter flight over top of, uh, of Gatineau and that part of Quebec. And oh, it seems like those colors just go absolutely forever. We are at the Mackenzie King Estate here in Gatineau Park and these are the Abbey Ruins and it's quite beautiful. I would never expect to see anything like this here in Canada. And let's not forget Quebec in the wintertime. From Quebec City, we took a tour all the way up to Hudson Bay by snowmobile and Canada is beautiful in the winter when you're out there seeing the vast ice and lakes and frozen rivers it is just beautiful not only are there great trails here in Quebec we've had an awesome time here today snowmobiling but we get to come across like frozen waterfalls and stuff like this the scenery is incredible the riding is awesome you know you got to do it We can't forget the very pretty PEI, Prince <laughs> Edward Island, home to him and of Green Gables. You have to cross the very picturesque Confederation Bridge to get there. And then when you get over to PEI, it's known for its red sand. Uh, the whole maritime section there has all different landscapes in such a small little area. So if you want to pack a lot of punch into one particular area, the Maritimes is a great place to go because you can hit New Brunswick, um, Nova Scotia and PEI and Newfoundland all in one trip and get very contrasting landscapes. And we don't want to leave out Newfoundland, but unfortunately we haven't been there yet. That was on our list to do this year in 2020. Wah, wah. Let's go, Debbie Drive. One of the most iconic drives in the entire world is the Icefields Parkway, and it is another one of the most beautiful places in Canada. Definitely stretching from Banff National Park all the way up to Jasper National Park. This drive is something that I think everybody has to do in their lifetime. Uh, you need to give yourself time because there's so many different places to stop. Uh, Bow Lake is a, is a great recommendation. We actually stayed there one year right in the lodge. It's right at the foot of a glacier. Absolutely breathtaking, the reflections there. So those are our favorite, most beautiful places to visit in Canada. What are your beautiful places? Did we miss any? I'm sure we did. I'm sure you have a favorite that we <laughs> haven't been to yet. Let us know because it's our mission to explore our entire country before we die. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hopefully not too soon. <laughs> And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because we do put out new travel videos every week and click that bell so you get the reminder when those new videos can be sent right to you.